Welcome to FEMAP Tips and Tricks, where we present insider information on the use of FEMAP from the experts. In this video, we're going to look at how you can define an equation-based load and apply a hydrostatic loading to a water tank. Let's start with this quarter tank model. And you can see that we've already created a local coordinate system positioned at the expected level of the water surface and correspondingly split the wall surfaces to define the surfaces to be loaded, the wetted surfaces, which we've put into a group. We've also meshed the model with surface elements. We'll create a new load definition and type in a title. Then by right-clicking the model info tree, we can select loads on surfaces. In the entity selection dialog, we can pick up the previously defined group of wetted surfaces. The load we're going to apply is a pressure load and we give it a nominal unit value, as the actual value will be determined by an equation we'll define in a minute. We also pick up the coordinate system placed at the surface of the water and select the variable method where we can set up the equation. Hydrostatic loading is a function of the fluid density, acceleration due to gravity, and fluid depth, and we can represent this in FEMAP with a simple equation. In this case, the equation simply comes down to a constant multiplying the variable z coordinate. You have to be careful to maintain a consistent set of units at this stage. With the loading definition complete, we can expand the surface loads to see loads applied to the elements themselves. This gives us a clearer view of the resulting applied equation based loading. To find out more, Visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap or call your local channel partner.